And now on to the dinosaur of the day, Augustina Lophus, which was a request from Bradley via email, so thanks. It was a Sauralophene hadrosaur that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now California, in the Moreno Formation, and its name means Augustine's Crest. It was named for Gretchen Augustine to honor the Augustine family who helped support the Dinosaur Institute of the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles, and also the fact that it is related to Sauralophus. The type species is Augustina lophus morrisi, and the species name is in honor of paleontologist William Morris to honor his contributions to understanding hadrosaurids. Originally, this dinosaur was thought to be Sauralophus morrisi. It was described back in 2013, but a more detailed examination found that its skull was very different, especially compared to Sauralophus osborni and Sauralophus angusti. It was named Augustina lophus in 2014 by Albert Prieto Marquez, Jonathan R. Wagner, Phil R. Bell, and Luis M. Chiapi. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So two specimens have been found. A juvenile specimen was found in 1939, parts of the skull and limbs, and that was much smaller than the holotype. The holotype was found in 1943, and they found most of the skull and vertebrae and limb and hand bones. Augustina Lophus had a solid nasal crest, which is similar to Sauralophus, so you could see why there might have been the mix-up. But not much is known about Augustina Lophus. It was herbivorous and chewed its food. An adult skull was about three feet or one meters long, so it may have been a pretty big dinosaur. And there's estimates that it was 26 feet or eight meters long and weighed three tons. Augustina Lophus is a sister taxon to Sauralophus, and Augustina Lophus, Sauralophus, and Prosaurolophus are part of Sauralophini. Augustina Lophus shows that there was more hadrosaur diversity than previously thought in North America in the late Cretaceous. And what's kind of cool is that Augustina Lophus specimens have only been found in California so far. In September 2017, this year, it became the official state dinosaur of California. Woo! And <laughs> there was a campaign to make it the state dinosaur of California. And part of that, well, I don't know if this was official, but Augustina Lophus has a Twitter account. I think it's at Augustina Lophus. And the bio reads, native Californian, Los Angeles resident, older than Jerry Brown, barely, vegetarian, firm believer in science. <laughs> Jerry Brown's the current governor of California, in case you don't know. And he's old. <laughs> <laughs> but not can. as old as a dinosaur. No. <laughs> and if you'd like to see Augustina Lophus, you can see it at the Dinosaur Hall at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. They have both specimens. Yep. As long as you know where to go upstairs, because it's a little bit out of the way. Unless they gave it a more central position now that it's famous. Yeah, I have no idea. We haven't been there in a while. 